it's a legendary story. I've heard it a million times, but I'm sure many of our viewers haven't. The story of your job interview with Eddie Biedenbaugh and how, he, how you convinced him to hire you. Well, when Mr. Lavitt got me the interview, uh, I was really, and Eddie doesn't like me telling it all the time, but I was supposed to meet him at 8 o'clock in the morning, so I got up and made the drive, and I left Hickory really at about 530, and, and it's only an hour or so from Hickory to Davison, and, and uh, got there really early, and at the time, Tom Abadamarco was on that staff before he left, I think, to go to St. John's, and John Cochin, they came in, and I'm sitting out in the old gym, I think it was Boss Gym, and they said, well, Ed, Eddie will be here, and because Eddie is a person that gets up very early and, uh, what, you know, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11, rolls around. And when I, what I can tell you that I remember, too, I asked if there's somewhere we can, I can go eat. They sent me to the cafeteria. I had my very first ever bagel, ever, <laughs> ever, at Davidson College. And I went back and ended up staying. All the coaches left at about 6 o'clock, actually about 5 o'clock. My wife called wondering what was going on and, and I told her he hadn't gotten here yet. And, and I stayed till about seven o'clock and I was leaving and I walked down the steps and he came walking up. And I'll never forget, he hit his forehead and he said- uh, This is seven o'clock at night. At night. You'd been there since eight o'clock in the morning. Almost 12 hours. Didn't it ever occur you just leave this guy obviously doesn't want me? No, because I'd written all those letters and hadn't gotten good responses and had driven, had driven around the state. And Eddie felt so bad, he actually said to me, uh, I want you to work my camp. And at the time he hadn't hired uh, Jeff Buzdelic, even though he was thinking about doing that. And so I went down and worked Eddie's camp for two weeks and uh, then from there went up and um, worked the pit camp and got to know a bunch of guys there. And it's funny when you think about all this because the uh, team I coached had a young kid by the name of Sean Miller on it and Herb Sendek was there and, and John Calipari. Uh, I go back, I mean, so many people worked that camp. And uh, so I developed a lot of ties from Pittsburgh and Eddie was from Pittsburgh, obviously, but. Uh, then I went back that fall and Eddie got me a job working at Hoke Lumber, Hoke Lumber Company for uh, go in seven in the morning, work till about noon and go shave, that sawdust out of my hair. And he said, make me some money in my camp. And I did that. Then the next year he hired me and it's been great. I've been, I've been, believe me, I've had some wonderful people that have helped me along the way and it's been great.